No, we push it back. We push it back then. There you go. Got the cup going out. You see that mix? Oh. Up the top. Here, right? It's sick then. Oh, yeah, like like going down the hole. Oh, no shit. Shit, shit. <laughs> That's good shit. Hey, so, what's up, Connor? Long time no see,
Knockout from the East Coast, baby. Yeah, baby. East Coast. In the house. Full blown. In the house. Right? Right, Maryland Shut Muscle Machine. Like Maryland said, Muscle Machine. Shut your face and feel the Maryland Muscle Machine. I know you don't want that. Big dog. Right. Get ready to go play for the Ravens. Thank you. Love you, baby. <laughs> Love you, baby. Ain't no light back. No light days. Yeah, my ass. Okay, that was 65s. Right?
<laughs> that was 70 pounds. It's too light, you're gonna go up. You like that, don't you? <laughs> That's right, baby. Zooming in that. You know all those girls I got coming to my house every night? They keep me in shape. <laughs> yeah, right, right, yeah, right. You know all those guys I got coming to my house every night? They keep me in shape. <laughs> yeah, right. <laughs> And you know, you know the rumor they say about bodybuilders. This is my boyfriend, Mark. Right, sweetie? Yeah, that's right. <laughs> <You're> right. <laughs> First one, 100 pound dumbbell curls in your face, 100 pound dumbbell curls in your face, 100 pound dumbbell curls, Merlin muscle machine mass in your face, 100 dumbbell curls, one arm. Try that on. That's right. 24 inch guns, baby. In your face. 24 inch guns. Put that number down. Here you go. 100 pound dumbbell curls. Get ready to go right here, baby.
seats. Next exercise. We'll move to the next exercise. Tell you what. Ain't nobody out there training like that, man. I'm telling you right now. Guys aren't training like that. Old school boys used to. Nowadays, guys don't train like that no more. Because everything is so scientific and all this fancy equipment and everything. And people got away from the hardcore basic training. Squats, heavy squats, heavy bench press, heavy back. The foundation what builds a body. That's why nowadays guys coming up or whatever, it's just it's not it's just not uh it's just not hardcore homegrown muscle that takes years to get, you know. Everything's so so fake and so uh so predetermined and so short term. But it's all about the hardcore work. That's what, that's what pays off, and that's what stays with you forever. It's just, you know, nowadays people expect, you know, that, you know, they, they can just, it's an easy way to doing it, but it's no easy way to being a top athlete in anything that you do. It's just hard work, dedication, and determination, and having the guts, to continue to go on to push yourself beyond even though you feel like you might die. It's just being disciplined, getting up, doing it consistently every day, pushing yourself every day. I've been a pro now for 10 years and I'm doing the same shit, maybe more shit that I'm doing now than when I first started. And if you and you'll know the difference from this training video compared to full blown, you know, my first one which I was doing a lot, a lot of weight, but I mean, I didn't do 100 pound dumbbell curls. I didn't do full, full five behind the neck uh, shoulder presses. I didn't do uh, 1500 pound leg presses. I didn't do, you know, behind the neck pull downs of 300 pounds on the, on the whole rack. I mean, the older I get, the better I'm getting. So it's living proof right here. As long as age comes wisdom and knowledge, as long as wisdom and knowledge comes smarts. Along with all that stuff, you just get better. So, I'm good. <laughs> I'll take it, yeah, I'm good. Oh, man, I don't think so. Nope. There you go, you can put this one on the table. That don't look too bad. <laughs> Come on. Wait, I'll stick with the 35s. My best friend. Mine too. Ex As you, you can see there's a resemblance here, right? Former Marine right here, baby. <laughs> All the soldiers out there, man, I'm serious. Former Marine. Right? That's correct. What, what, what were you, uh... 88 through 92. You're in number machine. Oh, 0331 Machine Gunner. Security Force at 8151. United States Marine Corps. There you go, baby. Fucking right. That's what I'm talking about. I said when, it, when, when, I, when I can't train heavy, it makes me feel like I don't want to train. So the only way I can get into my training if it's heavy, if it's, if it's heavy, then it's a challenge. So you know, heavy like like today we did the tricep, bicep curls. Start off with 70s, and once once you do something, then you you know you want to go on and do more. So I kept going. I went to 100s. Same thing with benching. You start off 315, end up somewhere around 500. You know, for me, that's a challenge to see how many times I can do 500 on the bench. Not to just come in here and rep out with a bunch of cable uh, bullshit. I just want to come in the gym and I want to train and I want to feel the adrenaline pumping and I want to get it done. And that's what makes me leave out of here positive. You know what I mean? And makes me come positive when I come back. Not doing a whole bunch of reps and all this crazy shit with cables and junk like that because I don't get into that. I don't ever have it like that. 
A light day for me is after a contest, I take off, I don't train for five months, I get into my music, I write or whatever. But when it's time for me to train, I mean, Mark knows, me and Mark, me and Mark, this, this is my cousin Mark. How you doing? This is my cousin Mark. Um, and, and, and he knows uh, that when I'm not training for a contest, then I'm out, you know, hanging out with him. You know, we're, it's either I'm in the gym or I'm out of the gym. I'm not one of those kind, I'm not the kind of person that can do either or, or the same thing. You know, and it's like, either I'm gonna do the gym thing 100%, or I'm not even gonna be in here. You know what I mean? So I'm not gonna waste my time training on the off season if there's not a contest six to seven months away. I just don't do that. I'll eat whatever I want. I won't train for four months. And then I'll come into the gym and I'll bust my ass for four months and get ready for the competition. Because that's the only way I can keep my focus. That's the only way that's gonna be a challenge for me. It's not gonna be a challenge for me if I train for Mr. Olympia 12 months around. It's not gonna be a challenge. I'm gonna get burnt out. I'm not gonna to wanna to do it. So the only way it's a challenge is to do something to back my, back my head up against the wall and say, okay, I got four months to train for the Miss Olympia after I took off for five months, and I'm down to two, 200 pounds or 215. Let's see if I can turn my body around, get freaky, come back into the show, and that's what I do for four months. So that's why I'm into my training. And if I can do that, then I do it, because that's what works for me. It's better for me to do that than half-ass train all year round, wait till the Miss Olympia competition gets here, uh, go on my diet, half-ass it, and walk up in the show after I'm still going out on weekends and bars, but I'm training five days a week, but on weekends I'm still going out partying or going to picnics or doing all this crazy shit in the streets, nightclubbing it and all that crap. That's just not, you know, I don't do that while I'm training for a show. I'm training for a show, I'm training for a show. I'm taking five months or four months and I'm dedicating it to the show. If I'm writing my music, then I'm taking that time, I'm taking it, and I'm writing my music. Or if I'm doing concerts, then that's what I'm doing. I'm not cheating myself out of whatever it is that I'm supposed to do. So. That's why I got those flags hanging up. There's a Marine Corps flag right there, an American flag, and a state flag. Because when I come in here and I feel like I'm losing my balls or I don't have to get up to go or, you know, I'm half-assing it, I look at these flags when people lived and died, put their life on the line for this country and so many other countries around the world going to war so that we can be here and do what it is that we need to do. And when I come in here and I feel like I'm half-assed, I look at that flag, I look for all the people that died so that I could be here to do what it is that I need to do. So when I'm here, I'm not gonna waste any soldier's time that put his life on the line for me. So I feel like I'm a soldier, and this is my war that I got away. Any competition that I get in, that's why I have those flags hanging out.